One. As I step, it's like a shake hand. I'm gonna go ahead and grab here and drag so I can go ahead and grip his hand. And of course, it's a good idea to go ahead and cover here. And I need to bend his wrist. To bend his wrist, if I do it with my wrist, my wrist strength is not as strong. So what I do is I move. I go ahead and take another little step, move to this side here, and bend the wrist. As soon as I got this wrist bent, I'm going to go ahead and circle under again. And I attain here a C lock. What happens here is I have an angle here on his wrist, but now I also have pressure on the elbow, but also on the shoulder. I move in, one, and I cover. I bend his wrist, two, and he's dead. What I'm going to do here is I'm gonna finish the dislocation. So I need to keep this elbow firm. I have the 90 degrees on his elbow here and 90 degrees on the wrist. I finish the dislocation. Move in, one. Two, I bend, the, bend his wrist, make sure I cover. One additional thing to help go ahead and bend the elbow here is I can apply pressure with my left hand onto the pressure point with my thumb. And from here, I circle under quickly before he can deliver a reverse punch to me, here, and over. Ah. Ah. 